The Siege of Tsingtao, sometimes Siege of Tsingtao, was the attack on the German port of Tsingtao now Qingdao in China during World War I by Japan and the United Kingdom. The siege took place between 31 October and 7 November 1914 against Imperial Germany. The siege was the first encounter between Japanese and German forces, the first Anglo-Japanese operation of the war, and the only war in the Asian and Pacific theater during World War I. Topic. Background Throughout the late 19th century, Imperial Germany joined other European powers in an imperialist scramble for colonial possessions. As with the other world powers, Germany began to interfere in Chinese local affairs. After two German missionaries were killed in the Juya Incident in 1897, China was forced to agree to the Kiaochu Bay Concession in Shantung now Shandong, to Germany in 1898 on a 99-year lease. Germany then began to assert its influence across the rest of the province and built the city and port of Tsingtao, which became the base of the German East Asiatic Squadron of the Kaiserliche Marine German Navy, which operated in support of the German colonies in the Pacific. Britain viewed the German presence in China as a threat and leased Wei Highway, also in Shantung, as a naval port and coaling station. Russia leased its own station at Port Arthur now Lushanku, and France at Kuang Chou Wan. Britain also began to forge close ties with Japan, whose developments in the late 19th century mirrored that of the European imperialist powers as Japan acquired colonial footholds on the Asian mainland. Japanese and British diplomatic relations became closer and the Anglo-Japanese alliance was signed on 30 January 1902. Japan saw the alliance as a necessary deterrent to its main rival, Russia. Japan demonstrated its potential by its victory in the 1904–1905 Russo-Japanese War, and the alliance continued into World War I. When the war in Europe began in August 1914, Britain promptly requested Japanese assistance. On 15 August, Japan issued an ultimatum, stating that Germany must withdraw her warships from Chinese and Japanese waters and transfer control of its port of Tsingtao to Japan. The next day, Major General Mitsuomi Kamio, General Officer Commanding GOC, 18th Infantry Division, was ordered to prepare to take Tsingtao by force. The ultimatum expired on 23 August, and Japan declared war on Germany. At the beginning of hostilities, the ships of the East Asia Squadron under Vice Admiral Maximilian von Spee were dispersed at various Pacific colonies on routine missions. Spee's ships rendezvoused in the northern Mariana Islands for coaling. SMS Emden then headed for the Indian Ocean, while the rest of the squadron made their way to the west coast of South America. The squadron engaged and destroyed a Royal Navy squadron at the Battle of Coronel, before being destroyed at the Battle of the Falkland Islands in the South Atlantic. Topic. German defenses The Boxer Rebellion at the beginning of the century had led Germany to consider the defense of Tsingtao. The port and town were divided from the rest of the peninsula by steep hills. 
The natural line of defense lay along the hills, from the Kaiserstuhl to Litzener Heights. A second 17 kilometers 11 miles line of defense was set up along a closer line of steep hills. The final line of defense was along hills 200 meters 660 feet above the town. A network of trenches, batteries and other fortifications had been built in preparation for the coming siege. Germany had strengthened the defences from the sea, laying mines in the approaches to the harbour and building four batteries and five redoubts. The fortifications were well equipped though some with obsolete Chinese artillery and were well manned. Topic. Prelude On 27 August, the Imperial Japanese Navy IJN sent ships under Vice Admiral Sadakichi Kato, flying his flag in the pre-dreadnought Suwo, to blockade the coast of Kiaochow. The British Royal Navy RN strengthened the Japanese fleet by sending the China station's pre-dreadnought HMS Triumph and the destroyer HMS USK. According to a German press report after the siege, the Triumph was damaged by the German shore batteries. The blockading fleet consisted mainly of nearly obsolete warships, though it did at times include a few modern vessels. These included the dreadnoughts Kawachi, Setsu, the battlecruiser Congo, her sister Hiei, and the seaplane carrier Wakamiya, whose aircraft became the first of its kind in the world to attack land and sea targets. These Japanese aircraft would also take part in another military first, a nighttime bombing raid. The 18th Infantry Division was the primary Japanese army formation that took part in the initial landings, numbering some 23,000 soldiers with support from 142 artillery pieces. They began to land on 2 September at Lungkau, which was experiencing heavy floods at the time and later at Lao Shan Bay on 18 September, about 29 kilometers 18 miles east of Tsingtao. China protested against the Japanese violation of her neutrality but did not interfere in the operations. The British government and the other European great powers were concerned about Japanese intentions in the region and decided to send a small symbolic British contingent from Tientsin in an effort to allay their fears. The 1,500-man contingent was commanded by Brigadier General Nathaniel Walter Barnardiston and consisted of 1,000 soldiers of the 2nd Battalion, the South Wales Borderers, later followed by 500 soldiers of the 36th Sikhs. Following a friendly fire incident, British troops were given Japanese raincoats to wear so they would be more easily identifiable to the Japanese. The Germans responded to the threat against Tsingtao by concentrating all of their available East Asian troops in the city. Kaiser Wilhelm II made the defense of Tsingtao a top priority, saying that it would shame me more to surrender Tsingtao to the Japanese than Berlin to the Russians. The German garrison, commanded by naval captain and governor Alfred Meyer Waldeck, consisted of the Marines of 3C Battalion, naval personnel, Chinese colonial troops and Austro-Hungarian sailors, for a total strength of 3,625 men. 
He also had a modest complement of vessels, including the torpedo boat S-90, four small gunboats, the Iltis, Jaguar, Tiger, and Lutz, and the Austro-Hungarian protected cruiser Kaiserin Elizabeth, whose crew was initially divided in two, half to man the ship, and half to fight with the German land forces. On the 22nd of August HMS Kennet of the China Squadron, under the command of Lieutenant Commander F. A. Russell, while routinely monitoring the naval trade routes, encountered and was damaged in action by the German torpedo boat SMSS-90, the German gunboat SMS Lauting and a 4-inch shore battery off Tsingtao. She was hit twice from the retreating S-90. Siege As the Japanese approached their positions, Meyer Waldeck withdrew his forces from the two outer defensive lines and concentrated his troops on the innermost line of defense along the hills closest to the town. The Austro-Hungarian cruiser, SMS Kaiserin Elizabeth, was stationed in Tsingtao at the start of the war. On 2 September 1914 the German gunboat Jaguar sank the stranded Japanese destroyer Shirotai. On 5 September a Japanese reconnaissance aircraft scouted the port and reported that the Asian German fleet had departed. The Japanese ordered the dreadnought, pre-dreadnought and cruiser to leave the blockade. The next day, the first air-sea battle in history took place when a Farman seaplane launched by the Wakamiya unsuccessfully attacked the Kaiserin Elizabeth and the Jaguar in Chaozhou Bay with bombs. On 28 September the Jaguar sank the Japanese cruiser Takashio. Early in the siege, the Kaiserin Elizabeth and German gunboat Jaguar made an unsuccessful sortie against Japanese vessels blockading Tsingtao. Later, the cruiser's 15 cm and 4.7 cm guns were removed from the ship and mounted on shore, creating the battery Elizabeth. The ship's crew took part in the defense of Tsingtao. On 13 September, the Japanese land forces launched a cavalry raid on the German rear guard at Simo, which the Germans gave up and retreated. Subsequently, the Japanese took control of Kiaochu and the Santung Railway. Lieutenant General Cameo considered this the point of no return for his land forces and as the weather became extremely harsh he took no risk and fortified the troops at the town, returned the reinforcements that were on the way, re-embarked and landed at Lao Shan Bay. As the siege progressed, the naval vessels trapped in the harbor, Cormoran, Iltis and Lutsch, were scuttled on 28 September. On 17 October, the torpedo boat S-90 slipped out of Tsingtao Harbor and fired a torpedo which sank the Japanese cruiser Takashiho with the loss of 271 officers and men. S-90 was unable to run the blockade back to Tsingtao and was scuttled in Chinese waters when the ship ran low on fuel. Tiger was scuttled on 29 October, Kaiserin Elizabeth on 2 November, followed finally by Jaguar on 7 November, the day the fortress surrendered to the Japanese. The Japanese started shelling the fort and the city on 31 October and began digging parallel lines of trenches, just as they had done at the siege of Port Arthur nine years earlier. 
very large 11-inch howitzers from land, in addition to the firing of the Japanese naval guns, brought the German defenses under constant bombardment during the night, the Japanese moving their own trenches further forward under the cover of their artillery. The bombardment continued for seven days, employing around 100 siege guns with 1,200 shells each on the Japanese side. While the Germans were able to use the heavy guns of the port fortifications to bombard the landward positions of the Allies, they soon ran out of ammunition. When the artillery ran out of ammunition on 6 November, surrender was inevitable. The German garrison was able to field only a single Taube aircraft during the siege, flown by Lt. Gunther Plushow. A second Taube piloted by Lt. Friedrich Mullerskowski crashed early in the campaign. The Taub was used for frequent reconnaissance flights and Plushow made several nuisance attacks on the blockading squadron, dropping improvised munitions and other ordnance on them. Plushow claimed the downing of a Japanese Farman MF.7 with his pistol, the first aerial victory in aviation history. Plushow flew from Tsingtao on 6 November 1914 carrying the governor's last dispatches, which were forwarded to Berlin through neutral diplomatic channels. On the night of 6 November, waves of Japanese infantry attacked the third line of defense and overwhelmed the defenders. The next morning, the German forces, along with their Austro-Hungarian allies, asked for terms. The Allies took formal possession of the colony on 16 November 1914. Aftermath Topic. Analysis As the German garrison was able to hold out for nearly two months despite a total Anglo-Japanese blockade with sustained artillery bombardment and being outnumbered 6 to 1, the defeat nevertheless served as a morale booster. The German defenders watched the Japanese as they marched into Tsingtao but turned their backs on the British when they entered into town. Topic: Casualties. Japanese casualties numbered 733 killed and 1,282 wounded, the British had 12 killed and 53 wounded. The German defenders lost 199 dead and 504 wounded. The German dead were buried at Tsingtao, while the remaining soldiers were transported to prisoner of war camps in Japan. The 4,700 German prisoners were treated well and with respect in Japan, such as in Bando prisoner of war camp. The German troops were interned in Japan until the formal signature of the Versailles Peace Treaty in 1919, but due to technical questions, the troops were not repatriated before 1920. 170 prisoners chose to remain in Japan after the end of the war. Topic. See also Japan during World War I Kiaochu Bay Concession U-Boat Campaign World War I Notes <laughs>